joints in January. I'm going to be giving you guys a joint and connective tissue based exercise each day in January. Today we're going to start with the ankle joint and I'm going to start with controlled articular rotation for the ankle joint. So grab under your right hamstring, lift the foot off the ground. We're going to be trying to make as big of a circle as possible within the ankle joint and begin. As you're doing this, you don't want to be squeezing the toes down or up. You want to be try trying to keep relaxed at the toes, focusing all your tension on the actual ankle. You're trying to make as big of a circle as possible. So there should be quite a bit, bit of tension into the calf muscles, into the muscles on either side of your ankle joint, into the muscles that run parallel to the shin. I'm gonna be now going the other direction. As you're doing this rotation, notice you, if you have any spots that are hard to control or jumpy. And as we go for our second pass around the circle, just try to smooth those spots out. So I'm just trying to be as smooth and controlled in this entire rotation as possible. We're now gonna pause. And I'm gonna start to pull the toes and that top of my foot back towards the shin with quite a lot of intensity. So I'm trying to close this space, trying to bring my toes towards the shin. That's flexing these muscles within this front of the shin. I'm gonna hold that for three, two. Now I'm going to start to push my toes down and that bottom of my foot, bottom of my foot towards the floor. I'm trying to push down towards the floor with quite a lot of intensity, I'm trying to make a straight line from my shin to my ankle to the top of my foot. Feel this in the back of my calf the bottom of my calf. Three, two, come to a more neutral position and we're going to rotate our foot, so our ankle joint outwards, externally, out to the side. So I want you to imagine you're trying to get your pinky toe to rotate towards the floor. I'm gonna hold that for three. Two. Now I'm rotating inside or internally, trying to get my big toe to rotate toward the floor. I'm pushing quite hard here. It's going to be for three, two, relax. Pick up the left leg and we'll start with our controlled articular rotations. So we're going to make as big of a circle, as smooth as possible within our ankle joint. Try not to squeeze the toes down or up. Try to keep the toes relaxed in fact. Try to focus all your effort on making as big of a circle as possible just within the ankle. Notice any spots that feel jumpy, poor control, and as we go around, I just switch direction. As we go around, try to smooth that part out. So a smoother on the bottom of that circle this time. Just because I noticed as I was going around the first time, I was a little bit jumpy there. Okay, relax. We're gonna to start to push the toes and that bottom of the foot down toward the floor. Trying to make a straight line all the way from my shin to my ankle to the top of my foot. Squeezing into this back of the calf. Should feel tension right around the Achilles and just above that. Three, two, now start to pull the top of the foot and the toe is toward the shin. Trying to close this gap by flexing the foot. 
squeezing into the muscles on the top of the shin here. Three, two, relax, go to a more neutral position, and then rotate internally or inside, trying to get that big toe to come around and touch the floor. That's the idea with that rotation. I'm pushing to the inside harder. I'm still straight up with my tibia. My ha I haven't rotated my shin. I'm just focusing on the ankle. Three, two, and now an outside or external rotation. I'm trying to get my pinky toward the floor. If it could rotate that far. That's what I'm thinking. Pushing a little harder into that rotation, making sure my shin hasn't rotated. Three, two, relax. 